Hey students, welcome to the video. So today I've got a very interesting question for you. So this question is basically an IIT JE question. It came in the IIT JE paper in 2004. So obviously you might think that it's an IIT JE question, so it's, it's going to be difficult, it would be tricky. But let me tell you, especially for 10th graders, you would be able to very easily solve this if you have done, if you are done with the polynomials chapter, I'm sure by now you must be done with it. So you have this chapter polynomials in NCRT. I'll be using the basic concept that you have learned there to solve this question. So let's check this out. If one root is square of the other root of the equation, x square plus px plus q equal to zero, then relationship between p and q is we have got four options. So since it's an MCQ question, our answer has to be according to that. Now it's a quadratic equation. We know that in a quadratic equation always has two roots. So one root is square of the other root. Let's suppose if one root is alpha, other one is going to be square of it. That's going to be alpha square. Now we've learned this topic, uh, relationship between the zeros and uh, between zeros and the coefficients of the polynomial, right? So I'll be just making use of that relationship to find this out. So first of all, we know that sum of zeros, is, that means that's equals to minus b by a, which is nothing but minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. And product of zeros is actually equals to constant term upon coefficient of x square. So let's use that. As I said, our zeros would be alpha and alpha, alpha square as per the information given in the question. I would say that alpha plus alpha square, that means sum of zeros is going to be equal to minus b by a. That means this is the equation that is given to me. If I compare it with the general equation of quadratic equation, I can say that's going to be equal to minus p. From here, I'm just simplifying this. I can take alpha common. That's going to be alpha times one plus alpha. So this is what I've got from here. Let's keep it aside. Now, product of zeros, zeros are alpha and alpha square. Let's multiply them. That's equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. That's q. So I can say that q would be equal to alpha q. Let's keep this aside. We'll be using these two equations to simplify further. Now what I'll do is I'll use this equation. I'll take cube on both sides. Why am I taking cube? If I look at the op, you look at the options, there was p cube in the options. That is, I will only be able to get p cube once I take cube. So I'll be taking cube on both sides. So we have minus p cube and whole of, of this thing cube, right? Now, alpha cube is one thing and then we have one plus alpha cube. So basically I'm using the identity a plus b whole cube, that is a cube plus b cube plus three ab in the bracket we have got a plus b, which I'm going to write down here. I'm just replacing a and b with one and alpha equals to minus p cube. Now we know that alpha times one plus alpha is minus p. I'll replace here it with minus p. And we knew that alpha cube is equal to q in the previous slide. I'll replace wherever I have got alpha cube with q. So I have got q plus one plus q minus three p equals to minus p cube. Now in the final answer, everything was on one side. So I'll take p cube to the other side. It's going to be p cube. That means positive plus q plus bracket one plus q minus three p equal to zero. Now, according to the answer, we just have to do a little bit of rearrangement over here. What I'll do is I'll write p cube. If I open the bracket, that would be positive q plus q square minus three p q equal to zero. So in the final answer, we could see that q square was written aside. So I'll write it here from this q and three p q. If I take minus q common, I'll have three p, right? And from this q, if I have taken minus q here, so sign will change, that would be minus one. We arrive at this equation at the end. And this is nothing but that's actually our option fun. So option A is the right answer for this. See how simply we solve this. Though it's an IIT JE question, but just by making use of the basic concept that we have in polynomials, we could solve that. Now do leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this question.